The world is on the verge of an environmental disaster of Mad Max slash apocalyptic dimensions. Some scientists say that humanity has less than 20 years to fix this huge mess. Icebergs are melting. Lots of seas are full of plastic and waste. Several fauna and flora species are on the verge of extinction. Corporations are consuming Earth's resources. And some billionaires have already bought doomsday bunkers and discussing colonizing Mars, while plastic fibers rain on the Rocky Mountains. But do we really have the time to discuss colonization and environmental activism? Yes, we do have the time. The current pattern of the environment's destruction started decades ago, even centuries ago, depending on how you see it or how you describe the current pattern of environment's destruction. One could say that Aboriginal and native populations are the first environmental activists from the first time colonizers started to exploit the lands they colonize. Native populations and tribes in South America have fought for their land and with these, the environment. You guys know where I'm going. There has been a constant fight in the Amazonas for the many, for the many indigenous communities and tribes to survive. Some have even disappeared and others continue to struggle to fight for not only their culture but also the Amazonian rainforest. On top of that, there have been 72,840 wildfires in Brazil in 2019 alone. This means from January to August of this year. But this horrible situation is a direct consequence of policies endorsed by Brazilian president and asshole of the year, Jair Bolsonaro. Indigenous people in the Amazonas have been fighting for centuries. And this is one of the many reasons why we need to decolonize the discussion about the environment, because we need to understand there is a correlation between the current pattern of the destruction of the environment with colonization, and also how we perceive certain ethnic groups and Aboriginal people. In the Amazons, they have been fighting against colonization for centuries, and the solution is so simple. Respect their land and leave them alone. When fascist rat and president of Brazil, Jair Bolsonaro, took office, he destroyed a lot of the Amazon legal protections. And all the attacks against this Aboriginal people have increased. So far, around 100 indigenous activists have been killed by armed men who have invaded their territories. And the United Nations called an investigation on this, and also they have called an investigation of the killing of other indigenous activists. And the rat <coughs> and Jair Bolsonaro have said, Oh, that's just a conspiration of the NGOs who wants to destroy Brazil. Really, bitch? Really? The destruction of the Amazons is caused by men, is caused by colonization, is caused by a colonialist mentality. The world is complicit with this mess, from the companies who profit from the destruction of the Amazons to the whole discussion around environmental activism and the indigenous people when they are the ones who should be brought to the discussion and be listened to because it's very simple the solution to all of this mess just leave the amazonas alone respect indigenous people's territories now that we talk about how the world is complicit with this mess i see a phenomenon that i like to call keeping my front yard clean by dumping trash on my neighbors and it's when countries who show themselves as being very progressive as being very clean they don't do the same in other developing countries one example of this is for example the situation of the barrick gold in the dominican republic the barrick gold is a canadian mining company they are working they're operating in the dominican republic at the moment they're mining are gold mines yes we still have gold in the dominican republic yes we still have gold in the dominican republic the colonizers didn't get it all and they 
implement extremely, extremely horrible mining techniques that are harming the environment and the natural resources in the Dominican Republic. The situation in, in Chile, where this Norwegian um, company has invaded Mapuche territory with the help of the Chilean government and has built an hydroelectric plant. And the name of this company is Statkraft. Another thing is when countries like Canada, the US, and the United Kingdom, among others, they sell their trash to countries like Indonesia, Malaysia, Philippines. Now those countries are trying to send the trash back to these Western nations. Uh, I hope they can make it. I hope they can manage it, to be honest. So it's like, as long as my place is okay, I don't care about other countries, which is extremely, extremely stupid because at the end of the day, we're all together in this world. <sighs> it's like, I don't care about what happens in other countries as long as my country sells an image of being a progressive and clean country. It's extremely, extremely important that we decolonize the discussion about the environment. Why? Because there is a correlation between how we treat our natural resources, the destruction of the environment, and colonialism. I think the discussion about colonialism is very new if we see it from the perspective of historical events. Colonialism wasn't not long ago, but there is room for the discussion nonetheless. And I'm not gonna say, oh, small changes are not enough. Banning straws, not using plastic bags. But what's the point of doing all of these small changes if we don't destroy the source of the problem? Let's take a break. Welcome to the anti nihilism section because not everything is shit in the world. Today's anti nihilism section is. A little different. It's hard for me to see the light at the end of the tunnel and out of the episode the part that was the hardest for me to do was this because I couldn't I was like what can I talk about what organization can I talk about what person can I talk about I wanna talk about society the world in general. I have noticed there's a tendency to talk more about colonialism and the environment and that's really really good and we need to keep the discussion going and be more critical and push things forward thank you so much for listening this week's episode i'm on facebook soundcloud and youtube don't forget that I upload episodes every week. I'm working on episodes in Espanol. Please comment, subscribe, and share so this project can grow. Thank you so much for listening once again. And this was Mango Podcast. Mango.